if they pass this bill, it's just going to be another tax hike. It's just going to be more money that we owe, and very little is going to happen. That's my estimation of that, simply because you have to take away the restraints on the government because the government is making it difficult for businesses to hire. And it's not that I'm a Republican, because that's what you sound like a Republican. I hate these labels that everybody puts on people. It's just not right. No, I, I, don't, I realize the fact that if my business, if I've got to spend four hours a day on regulations, that's four hours I can't spend on my growing my business and getting hiring new workers and, and, and investing in infrastructure of my business. That's because I'm spending 20 hours a week or maybe an extra, I need somebody else to work, one person just to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do so that you don't come and shut my business. So I think regulations are out of control. Like look, like we were talking about Gibson guitars before. Look at that. What's next? Oh my God. What's next after Gibson? Like all these mom and pop stores. And They're all killing the mom and pops. Because of big Walmart coming in and all these fucking Walgreens stores. Exactly. Oh, ridiculous. Man. I mean, look at Walmart. Shots. They they sell food for crying out loud. People actually buy food from Walmart. Yeah. It's because it's cheap. It's because the economy is bad and people don't have a lot of money. So, you know, it's the same thing. It's just like you notice when you're like in the store. And you, you see that the, you know, there's, there's the elite also know this. It's part of their uh, their culling process or their putting additives in the food. They know the higher quality foods, the lower income people aren't buying. They really aren't. So you really can't afford to buy the food that's quote unquote a little safer. And if you can, you maybe you're a little luckier than the rest. But the average people that are out there buying these quick dinners and all this shit and buying McDonald's and all that other crap, they're basically lower income people. You think a guy making you, you think one of these elite ever pull up their uh their my back or their or their uh Lamborghinis up to a uh McDonald's drive thru? You think so? I don't hey, know. Hey hey hi guys. Can you hear hey there, me? Hey Ronnie, hey, how are you? Here. Good to hear from you. Hey. Uh, I just wanted to, um, have you got echo on me? No, you're good. Oh, cool. I just wanted to say, um, over in Australia here, a lot of our small businesses are being bought out by uh, um, all the corporates in a big way. You know, they're owning all the uh, petrol stations or gas stations, as you would say, and they're, you know, they're taking out all the small butchers, all the small fruiterers, um, and it's getting to a stage where we don't have in our local community the small guys anymore. Really, you don't have a little, like a little, like side place that sells vegetables on the road or anything like that, or fruit? No. It's becoming really, really less and less, and it's 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 unfortunate that um, these guys are just taking up all these small businesses and. Um, you know, the Coles, the, the Myers, the Woolworths, the, and then their own, uh, I think, uh, what's, what's the, the big conglomerate uh, that owns them all? Uh, West Farmers? Hmm. I'm yeah, not familiar so, with um, them, but all right, well... You you know, it's good. That, I'm glad you mentioned that, Ronnie, because, like, here where I live in Montreal, we have a lot of uh, um, little produce stores, you know, that sell just fruit and vegetables, and it seems like on a month, like, in my city alone, there's probably about 40 of them, and it's like on a monthly basis, there's, like, one or two that you'll see shut down, yeah. and in this place will be, like, uh, they'll convert it into, like, a small mall or a small type of, uh, not a Walmart, but something on that level. Yeah, well, that's what, that's what's happening here, and you know, it's it's Coles and Woolworths that are, are probably buying out all the the small guys, and um, you know, we're, we're seeing a change that you know when things go down, these guys are going to be dictating to us because they they own our food. Yeah, Monsanto, our, sure. Our, our fuel, you know, pretty much they will dictate to us. That's what they're planning to do there, Ronnie. Well, listen, it's interesting. Here in the States, you know, when you're looking at this, like I live in Connecticut and um, in, in Litchfield County, which in the entire state is really the, the richest county as far as agriculture, in my opinion. 
you got a lot of uh, small farms, not big farms, northern Connecticut, on the east, uh, northeastern Connecticut has more of the big farmers, the, uh, the, you know, the very large farms, but the small farms where, you know, where they sell on the road, on the side of the road, and they have a couple of stores, and it's sort of a rural, a little more of a rural area. Uh, but S510 is taking a direct attack at these farmers and in this community. And in the states here, they actually passed this, uh, it's unbelievable, that if you really read the letter of the law, now they're trying to change some of this, that they could say that if, if things got tough and the government put in a, uh, any type of uh, martial law or any type of uh, restrictions like that, that it would be illegal for you to trade your vegetables with your neighbor. Now, just the thought that you put that in a law, I mean, I just went wild. I went absolutely wild, and I went on uh, a radio station in town to talk about that and then started talking about Monsanto and how they're trying to take over the world or, or are pretty close to doing it with their GMO seeds and, and farmers in, in, in India uh, committing suicide at the rate of 1,100 per day uh, because they were bamboozled that these... Monsanto seeds would make them such abundant crops they'd all be millionaires and they went into debt and then had a couple of seasons with dead harvests which was obviously their plan um, and then they don't they don't talk about that they don't they don't report that that they poison they poison themselves using the chemicals Monsanto sent them which is like an excruciating horrible way to kill yourself but that's how they do it to make their statement and even that's not loud enough for people to wake up it's just unbelievable. Well, what concerns me a lot, too, is that, you know, we feed not us in general, but, I mean, in general terms, people feed, you know, their their livestock, uh, Monsanto, you know, Roundup Ready crap and all that. And we, sure. in turn, eat the animal. And, uh, well, not all of us, but those who eat meat, you know, eat the animal. And thus, it leads to us becoming deathly ill. Have you guys noticed that the children are developing a lot earlier nowadays? Absolutely. Yeah. As, as early as nine, girls are getting their, uh, their, their periods. Yeah, that's right.